Afternoon, Roberto. Um, first of all, can I ask you about the latest with Julio and Ciso's injury? How long does it look like he'll be out for? But um, I can't answer your question in a precious way, but uh, it's, a not, um, it's a longer period. We have to, to, to stay without Julio. Unfortunately, it can happen in, in football. Uh, I'm sorry for him because he's playing he was playing very well, but uh, the football is uh, like this. Sometimes uh, is a uh, normal. We understand it could be around three, four months. Is that no, right? About right? I, I don't know, uh, but uh, can happen this this, uh, this period. Yeah, um, and because of that, will that impact your transfer plans? Will you maybe need a replacement for him or another body to come in? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm watching uh, the transfer market from the sideline, no, because it's not my business. And uh, yeah, I would like to 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 build a stronger squad. Uh, we have another uh, six, seven days, I think, maybe less. And uh, we will see the the midfielder, the the attack, the other attackers. In, in terms of Julio's injury, though, does that maybe mean that you might be wanting more than one? Does that mean that you might want one or two maybe midfield players to come in, someone to replace Moises Caicedo, but maybe no, someone to fill the midfielder is <coughs> because we lost Caicedo. And, um, and attackers, um, before the injury of uh, Julio, uh, my focus was... Uh, my focus has been in, in another attackers and especially now without Julio, I think we need another another place. Mm. Um, I'm going to put a couple of names to you, but I, Carlos Belieber, we understand that um, that deal was progressing, but it stalled a little bit. Can you say any more on that? No, no, it's not right. It's not fair if I speak another uh, of other players. Um, we have uh, many options in uh, in midfielder position. And we have uh, many options uh, in uh, attackers or anyway number number ten. <coughs> but I don't know. The, 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 the real situation. Mm. Are you able to say there's been any talks between yourselves and Arsenal over Lokonga, the midfield player? I don't know. No. Okay. Um, I'll move on and talk about the game then. So West Ham, um, what sort of uh, threats will they provide you this weekend? Um, are you looking forward to that one? But West Ham is a <coughs> is a very good team. They won three three one against the Chelsea, and, uh, and you can imagine the, the 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 quality of the West Ham. They have a lot of uh, very good players: Antonio, Paqueta. Uh, mm, but is a is a. Very tough game for, for us, very tough game for them. Uh, we have a big motivation. Uh, we have to to keep doing, to keep playing well, last, like uh, last, last uh, week. Uh, and we, we want to win. Um, in terms of your record against them, though, you've got a very good record. Brighton have got a very good record against them in terms of the last few matches they played, that must give you confidence. Yes, but uh, the record after two games is not uh, is not real record, no. Uh, I think we we could score more goals. Um, we we couldn't we could don't concede uh, two goals, uh, set pieces, and one penalty and one set pieces but uh, uh, we we can improve we are working to improve uh, we have to forget uh, the results and we have to push because uh, we are building a new season we are uh, changing something in terms of um, balance on, on the on the pitch uh, and we are not uh, we have not finished the 
the, the development. No. I just wanted to pick up on one of the things you said there, set pieces. That's something that West Ham are quite strong on, yeah. especially with James Ward-Prowse and the yes. delivery he's got. Yes, and it is a big challenge. In a, it's a important for, for us to defend in a right way, to attack in a right way, but uh, keeping the, the balance. Uh, we can't uh, lose the balance. We um, we have to, to keep uh, the focus, uh, to don't uh, concede counter-attack, uh, and to keep the, 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 behavior, the right behaviour to, to score uh, more goals as possible. Can I ask you about Matoba? Everyone seems to be talking about him at the moment and what he's been doing. Some people are saying that he's one of the best wingers in the world right now. Where do you think that he ranks amongst some of the others? I don't know if the, if uh, he's the best, but he's one of the best uh, for sure. Uh, we are lucky to to play with Mitoma with us in our in our team. Uh, I think we we can. He can show his quality uh, with us because every player of Brighton can um, can give the, the the right ball the, to put him in the right condition to show his quality because the one to one is a, his quality, but before the one to one you have to 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 put him in the, the right condition to, to try the one-to-one. -one, no? My last question, um, lots of fans are excited about Evan Ferguson and obviously Chao Pedro coming in this season as well. Maybe with Julio's injury, do you see maybe the two of them potentially playing together? Tomorrow uh, Ferguson plays in first eleven. OK, it's good to know. Right, thank you. Hi Roberto, um, is there any other team news apart from NCSO ahead of tomorrow's game? No. Uh, um, we are in a very good good condition. We we have worked very well this week. Uh, there is a a good atmosphere. Um, we would like to 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 finish tomorrow evening in in, in the top of the table with a nine point. But we we know the the difficult of the game, the level of the difficult of the game. We respect West Ham, but uh, we want to push. And just going back to Enciso briefly, um, what actually is the injury that's going to keep him out? Uh, meni menisco, yes. Menisco, okay. Um, Gareth Southgate was there watching the game last week. Obviously, Solly put in a great performance. Do you think he should be included in the England squad in I just a few weeks? I know I you've spoken about it. I hope for my players, um, I hope for my club, but it's not my business. I usually respect the, the, the work of my colleagues, the other coaches, and it's not right if I speak about the other team. Uh, but I think we have a lot of players uh, ready to play in national team, not only the England players, but uh, uh, for the for the other players, for example, Pascal Gross. I think he's a uh, he's a, he has reached the the right level to to be on the list. Um, I'm sure you're aware of the West Ham curse. They've never beaten Brighton in the Premier League. How important is it that you keep that going yes. for a 13th uh, match? Yes, repeat, sorry. Uh, West Ham have never beaten Brighton in the Premier League, I'm sure you know. How important is it that you take that to 13 games tomorrow? Uh, to, to win, we have to play well. Uh, and our focus is on the, the, the quality of the, the, the game, the quality of the play. I think it's easier uh, to win the game if you play well. Uh, and we have the, the, the right condition, the right quality to, to, to play well. Uh, we, we have to, um, to find the balance because we we have not found the the right balance yet 
and uh, we are trying to to reach the the best the best uh, solution to to play attacking with a lot of players but uh, we can't forget uh, to to react when when we lose the ball for example um, David Moyes is an incredibly experienced coach and last season he negotiated a Premier League season as well as having success in Europe what kind of things can you take from him going into a similar challenge for you this season by uh, when when I play against uh, the older coaches, uh, it's an honor for me, no? Uh, and um, and Moise is one of the this um, older than me, no coach. But um, every every coach uh, has a different style, uh, um, uh, and uh, last season uh, West Ham won. Uh, Conference League. I watched the game because they played against Fiorentina, Italian club, and I know he's, a, he's still a very, very important coach. And just two more for me, if that's okay. I know you briefly touched on it, but have you had to adapt training at all this week to deal with the potential threat of James Ward-Prowse's set pieces? Yes, but uh, uh, we are used to, to to working in the set pieces. Uh, especially if there is a, a player like uh, Plaus, no, is uh, one of the best in that situation. I think we 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 are ready to defend in a in in a right way, in the best way. And I know it's only been two matches, but Brighton are top of the Premier League under your coaching. You must be feeling pretty good right now. No, I feel I I usually feel good if we work well uh, during the the week. Uh, Saturday is uh, the the result of the 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 week, the work on on the week. Um, but if you ask me tomorrow. What is the the feeling? Yeah, we we want to win to 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 keep on the top of the table, to to make other three, po three points, uh, and then uh, we will focus on Newcastle. Thank you, Roberto. With Julio and Ciso being out injured, does that mean it's less likely that people like Facundo Buenanotte, Steven Alzati will go out on loan? Um, bearing that injury in mind. No, Alzate is a midfielder, uh, and Facundo, uh, at the moment, uh, I, I think is better in a winger position. Uh, Curio is number ten, number nine, but uh, you know. We, we our style is different. Is the number ten for us is this season um, is different than the other team. No, like Paqueta is a number ten, but different than Julio. Uh, we are playing in different uh, way than last season. Last season number ten was uh, a lot of time um, Alex McAllister, but Alex and uh, Julio are totally different players. Uh, for it, uh, we are attacking with mm, many players, uh, and for it, I, I, I told you we have to find, we have to be um, focused to find the, the the balance. Can I just ask about one player? Everyone talks about Mitoma and March at the moment. Pervis Estupinian, how well has he been playing for you? Not just the end of last season. This season as well, he seems to have continued that. This I season. must admit, uh, Pervis is one of the most um, crucial, crucial player for us, because uh, he started from left back, but uh, you can find him in striker position. He's very smart player. He's one of the our secret, I think. Mm -hmm. And just finally, you said you wanted more goals, but you have eight goals already. Uh, I think in one game you've created 27 chances. You must be pleased, though, that you are creating chances to score more goals. Yes, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm, I'm happy, but uh, 
but I think uh, we can we can play better we can score more goals we can create more chance uh, and in the same way in the same time we we can concede less uh, chance to, to to score for the the opponent no the result for uh, one in uh, in in Wolverhampton is a fair result was fair but in the first half we suffered too too much no we we lost um, uh, ball in the simple situation and we can't concede uh, contra-attack like like a uh, Wolverhampton game in the second half we we could uh, close the game for nil and mm, to concede uh, the goal the for for one is a a bad thing for for us we have to think uh, all players and all people in the same way uh, the goal uh, uh, we we concede we can't we could uh, not concede no it's not a, a great goal or, or because the opponent uh, score one incredible goal no mm. thank you Roberto uh, you've been in the club almost a year now uh, you're in the Europa League and I know it's only two games but you're at the top of the Premier at the moment which as a fan is amazing how would you sum up your experience with the club so far and how you feel about Brighton Hove Albion uh, my experience has not finished yet uh, and uh, I can't uh, give you the answer I I have had um, I have a big, big ambition. I have a. Uh, I would like to to follow the the last season to to do better, better and better. But uh, the 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 situation is has changed. No, we lost uh, the players. Uh, we 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 brought new players and we have to to give them much time to to be inside to understand better the the idea to um, much time to understand better the teammates uh, and then uh, we can we can do the the new target but for sure we we want to compete in every competition uh, if we want if we if we can't, we want to, to keep at the top of the table until, I don't know, but uh, at the moment uh, I think we are focused and we, uh, we have to take our eye on the ball. And the ball is the, the top of the table at the moment. How would you describe your relationship with the club now? No, oh, very good, very good relationship with the players, with the club, with Tony, with the the, the people like uh, Paul who works in inside of the club is like a, is like my home. No, uh, when I work here is a is like my home. Uh, we have to find the same uh, ambition.